We all love games like Uno, Monopoly, Chess, or even perhaps Checkers. These are all games popular within our modern day of age. But have you ever wondered what games are popular during ancient times? Well, luckily for you, we have the top candidate for that position, introducing the Royal Game of Ur. This game has a history all around it, and it is speculated to be over 5,000 years old. In order to really get the full gist of this game, we must go over its past. We must go over how to actually play the game. And finally, we must go over the benefits that this game provides. The city of Ur was lost for 2,000 years until after the First World War, where it was finally rediscovered. In 1928, an English archaeologist discovered something fascinating in the tomb of Ur. It was a board game. This board game is what we now know as the Royal Game of Ur. DBRL.org suggests that this game was immensely popular during ancient times, and it is suggested to be one of the most popular games in all of Egypt, with various forms across all tombs in Egypt. Masterofgames.com suggests that this game is played in many different ways. Explorers aren't really sure how exactly it is played, but today I'll be presenting to you the British Museum Irving Frankel strategy of how we play the game. Of course, starting off with how to play the game, you need two opponents. There are two different sides of the board, and it will all involve having five pieces each with four dice. This is the component at the bottom. This is where all the pieces will be found. First, we'll have to take out four pieces. Those are our dice. You can get a total of a zero through four of a number to roll. In order to know who goes first, each player must roll a dice. Whoever scores the highest number is who goes first. Of course, I scored a one. And let's assume that my opponent somehow got a zero. So therefore, this would be my side. Now, the starting point is right here. So we'll take a piece and move it there. And you may notice these flower symbols. So the route that we have to take is through the bottom, up through the middle, through this bottom part here. The goal of the game is to get all your pieces out before the other player does. So if you were to land on one of these flowers, you'll actually get another move, which then you can move all the way up to the route, getting further up to the middle until you're at the final destination and getting the piece out. Though there is one thing that gets this game more competitive. In the middle section, your opponents can knock you out all the way back to the start, not the good out, not the out that we want. The out that we want is at the top, getting a point off the board. So if I were here, if I were to score a two, I could go one, two, and the piece is officially out, and I'll have four pieces remaining. That is the way of winning the game. This game is a combination of luck and skill. It is a very great game for a combination of both, causing a bunch of excitement as we play. Of course, with excitement comes a lot of thrill while playing. Brightpod.com suggests that this game has an increase in decision-making skills and focus and awareness. But unlike most strategy games, there is luck to it. And I personally really like the luck, because with the luck, it teaches you that even with a really good strategy, you can still land two zeros in a row and not get anything good out of that, basically screwing over your whole strategy. The, the good thing about that is that that's a lot of the time how life will actually be. So having a backup strategy in preparation for the worst can improve decision-making skills even further. And so this brings us on to our final thing with a recap. We learn of the enormous history in the game with how it is over 5,000 years old and it wasn't discovered until in 1928. We then learn how to play the game, specifically the British Museum Irving Frankel strategy of the game. And then we learn that this game provides us with decision-making skills and an increase in focus and awareness. This game is something I recommend for us all to play. It is a game that not many people play nowadays, and it is something that can provide us more benefits than maybe your average strategy game. 
please give this game some time on your personal time.